Hello and welcome back to Virtual Box Series. This is tutorial number one, part two. In the last part, we installed router OS in Virtual Box and connect it with GNS3. In this part, we will connect GNS3 simulated router from local network and connect GNS3 to real network. Okay, first we will create loopback address to my PC. And to do this, we will go to the search box and type hdwwiz.exe Click on it. So add hardware wizard will appear. Click next. Select this option. Install the hardware that I manually select from a list. And click next. Select network adapters. Click next. Now select Microsoft as manufacturer and select Microsoft KM test loopback. Then select next. And it will install loopback interface for you. I already installed it, so I will skip it here. So I will cancel it. Now from the search box again, we will type ncpa.cpl. Take to the network connections. Now we will go to the loopback address, right click on it, and go to the properties. We'll give an IP address to the loopback interface. As we want to connect GNS3 to real world networks, so we need to give shared IP that is recommended when set up. And recommended IP for the setup is 192.168.137.1 and submit mask is 255.255.255.0 and DNS address is public Google public DNS. Click OK. Now we will go to the Ethernet interface. Right click on it, go to the properties, select the sharing tab. We will check this option to share network. From here, we will select loopback interface. Click OK. Now open GS3 again. Select here for cloud. Look for the cloud, drag it to this window, now right click on it and go to the configure. Here we select the loopback address. Add, select it and click apply. Okay. Now we'll connect it, connect the router with cloud. Select the loopback interface. Now configure the router with same network IP. Network is 192.168.137.1. So this one is the local IP address. Now we'll check the IP address by IP address print command. 
you, you can see I got the IP address from the DSCP server from my local network which is 192.168.137.0 slash 24 network you can see I can ping to the real world from this simulated router I ping to Google public DNS so it is actually connected to the real world network now now we will test we will connect our simulated router by winbox you can see we can the so name is in admin password is default no password yeah we can connect to the router you can see we received the IP address from the DSCP so we will check the DSCP client you can see either one is configured that way to accept DSCP address if your local network is not provided DSCP address you can manually assign IP address to this router you may wonder how you can log in to this router by Winbox which is behind your internet router in the simulation okay there is a feature in router was called Roman Roman stands for router management overlay network Roman works by establishing independent Mac layer peer discovery and data forwarding network okay now we have to enable Roman on both router from the terminal we'll open the console and we'll type a command on both router command is very simple tool Roman set enabled equal to yes from the second router we'll type the same command tool Roman set enabled equal to yes now open winbox new winbox and select the connect to roman it will give another mac address to that router select on it connect you can see we connect to both router by winbox software now so now it will be easier for us to configure anything graphically so that's it in the next video. Thanks.